you know, I've led and I've followed, and leading is much more fun than following, although leading has much more pressure involved than following. But when you realize that you have to start following, um, I think that the smart people, they retreat and attack in another direction. So Max Martin, his sound that Kevin's talking about is um, um, Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and this, this great sound that came from Sweden and Max is a genius at it and he's still doing it with Taylor Swift and with Beyonce and with Pink and he's still writing great songs and producing great songs. So I wasn't able to do that kind of music so I had two choices. I could try and chase that or find Andre Bocelli, find Michael Bublé, find Josh Groban and, and just sort of do what I still know how to do. And that carried us all the way through. That carried me through for the next 15 years, and we had a tremendous amount of success. We didn't get on the radio, but our radio, television became our radio, and uh, we sold a lot of CDs, and, um, and it worked great. And I, and I, and I think that um, I embraced the fact that I couldn't do that kind of music uh, rather than just sit in a room and pout about the fact that I couldn't do it. Well, how do you know you can't make that kind of music? Because you recently said that you don't make top 40 records anymore, and I wanted to ask you, who made that decision? Was that the market making that decision, or was that you, David Foster, saying, I'm not, I don't make that anymore? That was me, because I don't like the concept of the music business saying, you can't do it anymore. I'd rather have the concept of me saying, I can't do it anymore myself. So was it more about having control and taking that control before they took it away from you than it was exactly right. having a lack of respect for exactly the bubblegum right. pop? Yeah. Yeah. No, I I I I I love today's music. I mean, yeah. Rihanna's making great records. Taylor's making great records. Max Martin, as you mentioned, um, Drake is making amazing records. Kanye is still killing it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, I just don't know how to do it. However, if I was to take one more run at writing with people like Drake, who said, you know, hey, come on over, and I would want to try and sprinkle myself into his life and not sit down and dominate. Because if I sat down and dominated then it would sound like me, and it wouldn't work for him. Right. But maybe I would just play a few chords and go, yeah, I can make that work, and leave it with him. 